hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel in today's video i'll be designing behance case studies and this video was inspired by a search i did on bdike which shows that quite a number of people are searching for how to design the case studies specifically in adobe photoshop so in this video i'll be designing a case study for dexter's laboratory a makeup brand and if you don't know what behance is behance is an online site where you can share your work you can showcase your work think of it as an online portfolio it is owned by adobe creative cloud by adobe yeah so we'll be designing a um a case study for dexter's laboratory from scratch our introduction and basically with this we'll be designing the um i won't be explaining what your your case study should contain all right let's post that for a second okay i lied i'll be showing you what to include in your portfolio and how to make your presentation screen quality instead of quantity and provide value to the viewers i was just showing you how to do it in photoshop so stick around i hope you have one or two things to learn from this video thank you that was quite awkward so first thing first we are going to create a new project for this project i'll be using the a4 size in the in the horizontal orientation go to print a4 you can use any size you want but bear it in mind that behance has a specified size for their files but it's not necessary you have to like work with it like 1400 by 2800 pixels i've seen great projects that they don't they are various sizes it just depends on how you place your project and how you present it if your project is not up to that size behance automatically like create a white padding around it so yeah you click on add boards and create new project so now this is our hotspot created you can see some plus sign around the what's it called now i don't know what's called the artboard yes this is if you want to add new artboard just click on the artboard and click on this plus button to get your artboard so i've imported my asset from illustrator and so the first thing i like to design is like my introduction to the to the presentation and this introduction also serve also serve as a thumbnail so i don't have to design another separate thumbnail for my behance portfolio so i just like put my logo to use and i always like to like put my logo against a background in this since this dexter's laboratory is about like makeup so i decided to use a male model and take a rectangle that has gradient color of um dexter's lab and cause it to be like an overlay and this is also a tip for when when, when you're using things like pictures background and you want it to the mood you want the mood to be aligned with the colors you've chosen for your brand identity you can just take pick a rectangle choose a color then go to over the blending mode change the opacity and so you get the gradient correct get it right you see this is i took that plain image from that to this and it looks good So the next thing i want to do now let's zoom in let's zoom maybe so you can see you can see it looks so 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 good like if you are seeing this thing on your behance home page you want to click on it you get that's the goal that's like the goal of thumbnail and your introduction you want them to scroll further like you want to, you want to cause how i put it i don't know so now i'm designing like an introduction like a little about your project your project of course after your thumbnail your introduction you have to tell them about your project what your project is about what is the problem what is the um the problem of the client what are the possible solutions how were you able to solve this problem you have to like chip it in that's one of the another thing that should be on your portfolio so and since dexter's laboratory is centered around like dexter i decided like and the brand is like witty and fun I said it had this little um, PNG image of Dexter. Then this what Dexter is cooking is like the heading of my of my about section. I'm going to write about the brand. I'm going to write about the, all about the brand and the solution I provided for the brand here. Yeah. So that's another thing you want to take note of. Most thing, most the most to be using in this in this in your presentation in Photoshop has to be the rectangle to you use it a lot in designing projects in in photoshop 
another thing you want to consider is showing the breakdown of your logo design and in case of rebranding like this a before and after the logo what the logo used to we used to look like before and what you have redesigned it to be as you can see it looks plain so i said to like okay create more contrast by adding a rectangle and you see that the the is not looking good against the color black so i'm just going to click on the shift button and drag it to the dexter's laboratory the old one so to create more contrast You want to add as many information as possible in your presentation. Talk about brand colors, typography, the use of photography and mockups. You need to use a lot of mock -up, meaningful mockups in your presentation. For example, I can't use a water bottle or a mug or a plate mockup in this presentation because it has no relationship with a makeup brand. Another thing you want to do is to use guide layout. It helps you align your text, your assets properly when designing i like to use like 50 pixel on all sides top left right and bottom and on all artboards you have to just make sure it's on all artboards and when designing for your brand colors it's not necessary you have to like use this method i use people if you browse check b and check view different projects they are the way they present their brand colors or typographies in different ways you can use circles you can just use um shapes different shapes right here right now i'm just using rectangle shape and it's looking like a um postcard is it postcard or polaroid kind of feel so you can do this and you can also like take any creative direction you feel you want to do but this is what i just decided to do for this particular brand Earlier, I said something about using photography and mockups. After showing the details of your project, you need to show what it will look like in real life, and that's where mockup comes in, and what it will look like when put to use. Now, I'm just since I'm using photography heavily in on this brand, I'm just taking this um, picture of this lady, and I want to like put it to use. That okay, if they want, to, they want to advertise this look. So, how will my logo be placed? What, it will, what would it look like and that's just what i'm doing so now i'll be using the tip i shared at the beginning of this video that's using um, the rectangle as an overlay i want to grade that picture color grade that picture to have like the colors of dexter's lab to make it more cohesive so after copying and pasting the layer style that's the gradient on the rectangle um i am going to change the um, blending mode you can see it's not changing yet but I'm going to also reduce the opacity and the fill in some case just to reduce it and just i'm just playing around with the blending mode to like find which one is right i can also you can also like copy and paste it like have stack stack the the rectangles on on it like after one rectangle copy and paste another one then just keep on changing the blending mode to the, till you get what is right for you so you get what is right you can see it's just it's looking cool it's looking like what i want look at the before and look, look at the before look at the after I'm sure you get what i'm trying to say now so this could pass off as an editorial look like an instagram post or a magazine or feature or something like that you can see i'm putting my logo to use here So I've gone ahead and designed the rest of the project. I have added my mockups and everything I need for this project. So the next thing I'm going to do now is to export it as an individual JPEG first. And these are the requirements by Behance. So click on export, export as. As you have seen the requirements by Behance, we are going to only save in JPEG or PNG or, or GIF or GIF or whatever it's called. So look. You can see the how it's going to export it 
on the file setting you can see jpeg so see the quality you can also change it if you want it to be png you want to change the quality then just save it so this is what it looks like now look at what we have done look at the beauty we've created <laughs> so we're going to export this individually to Behance. so let's get right to Behance now so i'll show you how that's done so when my Behance page this is my Behance profile these are the works that are there i want to upload a new work now so let's scroll back up let's click on share your work click on share your work click on project that's build a complete case study click on project then to take you to this page this is like this is the back end of behance this is what you get to see and on the right side you see this um attached source file so if i wanted to give you this the source file for this design we just did now i'll just attach the psd file there so you can download it so now this is where we come this is where you're going to like click on your image when you click on image this is where you start adding the project one by one you see it is loading so this is how you do it click you start adding them one by one or you just copy it click on all of them and add them then to just upload By adventure you uploaded the images in a wrong order you can always reorder it by clicking on this pencil to this pencil icon and click on reorder project then you can just shift it up to wherever you want it to be like you have to reorder it how you want it so that's that for reordering your project Click on styles in the edit project to edit the background of the presentation. As you can see, the current background is white, but we want to get rid of any color because we want the 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 flow to be seamless. We don't want a break. You can see as it's black, you can see how it looks like. So we don't want any space. We want it to look seamless. Like you want your viewer to just scroll through to be like just one page. What you're going to do is to reduce the content spacing reduce it to zero then save it you can see it is, it's now seamless like it's just one long presentation instead of images as we have uploaded it so this is how it, it will look like you can also add your image tag the image tag are just stuff to just help you get more visibility it's just like ig and other stuff so you just add it if you want to add it it is not compulsory it is not necessary And if you want to add your text, just click on text and you just add whatever you want to add and yeah. After everything, you're going to click on continue, then this is your nice semi page before you hit publish. Add your title, your project tags. Tags are what will help your projects to be seen or to be found. You know, if you if you go on Behance and you want to yeah, you want to get inspiration on um let's say new branding, you are going to go in and type new branding. Those that new branding, any any new branding on Behance that has it as its tag it should come up in your search results so that's just what tags are useful and just fill in the other necessary details then it publish then your project is live after waiting publishing your project and yes this is what your project look like look at how seamless it is you see there's no that white spacing we've gotten rid of the white spacing look at how look at just how seamless that looks like so guys that's all for today's video if you like this video please subscribe to my youtube channel comment below what you want me to do for my next video and i'll see you in the next one